Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Measuring Receiver Sensitivity with the CMA180. This presentation explains how to measure analog receiver sensitivity using the Rodian Schwartz CMA180 radio test set. If you're not already familiar with Synad and how sensitivity is quantified using Synad, you might want to watch the presentation Understanding Synad before proceeding with this presentation. There are also additional presentations available on AM, FM, and single sideband modulation, if you'd like an overview or a refresher on any of these analog modulation types. In this presentation, we'll be showing how to measure the sensitivity of an FM receiver, although the procedure is essentially identical when measuring AM or single sideband. In order to do this, we have to make two connections from our radio to the CMA180. The first connection will be from RF COM to the antenna connector on the radio, and will carry the modulated RF signal. The second connection is from the audio output of the radio to AF1 in on the CMA180. This will carry the demodulated audio signal back into the CMA180 for analysis. The CMA180 audio frequency inputs are BNC connectors, so it's likely that a special cable or adapter will be needed to interface with the receiver's audio output, for example a BNC to 3.5 mm cable. Once the radio is connected, it should be tuned to the desired frequency and audio output should be set approximately mid-range. Any squelch, automatic gain control, etc. should usually be disabled. If needed, the green preset button on the front of the CMA180 can be used to return the instrument to its default state. Sensitivity is a receiver measurement, so we start by selecting RX from the list of analog scenarios. For our sensitivity test, the CMA180 needs to generate a modulated RF carrier that is input into the radio under test, and this is configured using the Generator tab. There are two parts to this tab. The first of these is RF settings, where we configure the frequency, level, mode, and deviation of the test signal. The audio settings are used to configure the modulation, which in most cases is the default 1000 Hz tone. Once these have both been configured, pressing the Play button will start signal generation. If we want to ensure that the radio is receiving and demodulating the signal, or if we want to check our audio is correctly cabled and configured, we can enable the audio monitoring function and adjust the volume to hear the received signal directly from the CMA180. When running sensitivity tests, it's important to configure the weighting filter. After selecting the appropriate filter for your test, the analyzer can be started by clicking on the play button. The analyzer provides a wide variety of measurement results. To determine the 12 dB synad value used in sensitivity testing, we can manually adjust the level until the desired synad value is obtained. Note that we can select output level units in either dBm or microvolts. We can also determine synad values automatically using the RX sensitivity search routine. This routine will automatically determine the power level needed to obtain the target synad value. Therefore, before running the search routine, we need to specify the target synad value. Here we'll use the standard 12 dB value. We can also specify the tolerance for our measurement. In addition, it's a good idea to configure a max level to avoid the possibility of overdriving or damaging the radio under test. Once the appropriate values have been configured, clicking on Start will begin the test. Once the test begins running, the CMA180 will automatically step through different RF power levels and stop when the configured synad value is found, plus or minus the target tolerance. In addition to a numerical display of level in Synad, the CMA180 also displays a graph showing Synad as a function of input power. Here, in addition to reading off the 12 dB Synad values, we can also read off other values. For example, a Synad of 25 dB, which corresponds to full quieting in FM, occurs at an input power of about minus 121 dBm. So in summary, the Rodian Schwartz CMA180 can measure the received sensitivity of analog radios by means of standard synad measurements, and this can be done in FM, AM, as well as single sideband modes. The CMA180 generates a modulated RF signal, which is then received and demodulated by the radio under test. The audio output of the radio is routed back into the CMA180, where an audio analysis is used to calculate synad. Sensitivity is defined as the input RF level needed to produce a given synad, so the target synad value can be determined simply by manually increasing or decreasing the RF output level of the CMA180. 
This process can, however, be automated using the RX sensitivity routine, which automatically increases the output level until the target's SINAD value is obtained. This concludes our presentation, measuring receiver sensitivity with the CMA180. Thanks for watching.